Okay, so, um, plan transport, lovely. I think your sort of baseline knowledge is that you really do need to be familiar and be able to recognise a route and a stem down a microscope. So you will probably recognise this activity. Uh, at least you will if you're from Holy Cross, possibly not if you're from somewhere else. Um, <clears throat> so here we've got a root and a stem. Root, really, really easy to spot. So on diagrams or on uh, microscope images, the root is, has got this little circle in the middle, whereas the stem has not. I mean, that's the, the bottom line. This little circle here is called the steel. Not steel as in you wouldn't steal a handbag, but steel, S-T-E-L-E. -E. That was a really poor, really poor uh, imitation of the guy's voice from the, um, oh, what is it called? The copyright thing at the beginning of videos. So, what that steel contains, uh, and again, these are the probably the easiest cells to spot on any uh, plant microscopy image are these huge uh, spacey cells in the middle and these cells here I'm just outlining them in pink you probably can't see it on the video never mind you know what I'm doing uh, forming this sort of little cross in the case of ranunculus uh, they're at the xylem now xylem are dead cells, I think I'll do another video on xylem structure, but they're dead cells with empty space in the middle and very thickened walls, so they do really show up really, really well on um, microscopy images. Um, in between the sort of spokes of the star, I'll colour this in yeah, blue I think, oh no brown, got some brown. So in between those sort of spokes of the star, we've got these areas of smaller cells, not quite as obvious, and those cells are the phloem. So these are our two transport tissues, xylem for transporting water, phloem for transporting um, <coughs> sucrose. And around the outside of that, you can see there's that sort of ring of cells. It's actually, if you could look more closely, and you know, that's why Google is your friend, you would see that it's two rings of cells. The outer ring, so this ring here, is the endodermis. Endo meaning inside, dermis meaning skin, as opposed to the epidermis around the outside. Uh, one question I had asked um, this year was about thelium and dermis. We do tend to call animal cells thelium, you know, animal tissues thelium, and plant cells dermis. Apart from, of course, you can refer to your skin as epidermis, um, and we have a dermal layer of the skin. The sort of inner ring of those two is a ring called the pericycle. Peri meaning around, cycle meaning goodness only knows what, but it goes around the inner side. And then all the cells in between, the epidermis and endodermis, are called the cortex. So effectively cortex is a term that we use for tissue that lies between the epidermis and the vascular bundles. So that's the root, really, really easy, obvious, and you know these often look purple. These cells, because if they're stained with iodine, it's bringing that sort of purpley, blue, black colour uh, to the starch grains stored there. Moving on to the stem, uh, the stem is obviously a stem because it has these circular or oval vascular bundles and they're around the periphery that means around the edge of the stem so there's nothing in the middle. What's in the middle, you do need to be careful with this one, is pith. Careful how you say it. So one of those is a vascular bundle 
So this is the term that we use in the stem. We were using the steel in the root to describe where the transport tissue is. In the stem it's in a vascular bundle. Again, the most obvious cells are the xylem cells and they're on the inside and they're there. So these, you know, they're really big lumens, they're often uh, stained red, lignin is the thickening tissue, is the thickening substance and it does tend to stain red with the stains that we use on plants. And then the phloem is on the outside, now that's really really easy to remember. So phloem, whilst trying not to sound like the guy out of Family Guy who I apparently sound like when I say it, uh, is round the outside. O, O, phloem outside. So on the outer side of the vascular bundle we've got phloem. Now in between you've got a tissue called cambium, which we haven't really dwelt on, and I'm not going to dwell on it now. And this is dividing tissue, so you know plants don't just get taller, they fall over. They also get wider as they grow and the cambium is responsible for that sort of widening. It's a dividing meristematic tissue. So you're probably thinking now, ooh, well where would the cortex be then? So cortex, remember, epidermis around the outside, cortex between the two. So between the epidermis and the vascular bundle, cortex. You need to be able to recognise those from microscope, draw from microscope photographs and from drawings. So I would definitely have a bit of a practice at perhaps drawing them. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay, I'll do a very quick drawing of those for you. I'm so kind. So, stem. Epidermis definitely has a thickness, it's a cell thick. So we have to draw it as a double line. We've got the vascular bundles around the periphery and on a diagram of course we can spread them out so they're a bit more obvious. We've got the phloem on the outside, we've got band of that cambium tissue, xylem on the inside, cortex, pith and epidermis. So just while we're on the subject of sort of labelling lines, no arrowheads, they just obscure detail and you're the end of your straight line that you've drawn with a ruler and not drawn freehand like I just have, uh, would be to the centre of the structure. So not to the outside or the inside, right to the very middle. Root, so that's stem. Root. Isn't it lucky they're all circles? So again, epidermis around the outside. Then we've got this additional circle of endodermis. Again, it has a thickness. We've then got the pericycle. Ooh. You can tell I like drawing the root better than the stem. I can't be bothered with all the vascular bundles in a stem. We've got the xylem in the middle, and that sort of cross shaped and ranunculus. Can be different shapes in different plants, some of them have nice, nice star shaped ones. Flowing between the, the points of the star and the cortex. That should be reasonably easy to remember. <laughs>